Om Sai Ram. Today, the 7th of October, is a very important day for all devotees of Baba, as on this day in the year of 1954, it was Vijay Dashmi and the darshan we do of Baba in the Samadhi Mandir today was possible as a life-size idol of Sri Sai Baba was installed in the Samadhi Mandir at Shirdi. It replaced an old photo of Baba which is now kept in the museum or the Dikshitwada. This idol of Baba was carved by a sculptor based in Mumbai named Balaji Vasan Thalim. And today I shall share the Leela's experience by Mr. Thalim during the making of this idol. The first experience that is worth sharing with all devotees is that before making the idol we see in Shirdi today, a clay model needed to be made as there were two sculptors that were contacted by the Sansthan and the order would be given to the person whose model was selected and the three sculptors were provided with only one picture where Baba's only front profile was available. But for a sculptor, many other profiles and angles are required to make a proper idol. Despite all these shortcomings, Mr. Talim started work on the clay model and generally a sculptor would start work from the feet and go up to the face and Mr. Talim managed to make Baba's idol up to his neck and was struggling to proceed ahead and two months had already passed and the time was also running out for him. So one day he stood in front of Baba's photo and seeked help to complete the idol and left from his studio. And when Mr. Talim came the next day to his studio, he could see some bright light that was coming from his studio. And when he opened the studio, he was surprised to see Baba actually standing there. And as soon as he saw him, Baba said, See what you want and complete the work soon. And then Mr. Talim went around Baba three times as we do production around any deity and carefully observed and made the note of all he wanted. He then started sculpting the face of Baba and after it was completed, he contacted the Sansthan and asked them to come and see the model. Along with the devotees that had seen Baba in his lifetime, Sansthan visited Mumbai and all the sculptors to whom the order was given and the people decided that as per the model made by these sculptors, the order was given to Mr. Talim. This is one instance of Baba's grace. Now listen to another experience that helped Mr. Talim carve out this magnificent marvel that is in Shirdi now. Once the order was placed to Mr. Talim, he started working on how to procure the best type of marble for making this statue and contacted all his sources in Rajasthan as the best kind of marble in India was available over there. And as his efforts to procure the marble was on, our Baba had other plans. One of Mr. Talim's friends was working for porters in Mumbai. He visited his studio and asked him as to what was going on with him and he told him that he was working on making Sri Sai Baba's idol and was looking for some marble for this purpose. Then his friend told him that there is a marble block lying at the ports in Mumbai for the last two years and no one had come to collect it and many times it was also tried to be auctioned but they were not successful and asked him to come and see if it could be of any use. And then when Mr. Talib went and saw the marble block, he was astonished to see that the marble size was exactly the same that was required for Baba's statue and the marble was of the best kind that was available across the world known as Italian marble. After which, Mr. Talib started work on the statue and he started to work on Baba's face to his feet. During that time, at one point near Baba's feet, they experienced an air pocket in a marble which is of cause of concern as would not be easy to carve out the statue if anything went wrong. So again Mr. Talim invoked Baba's grace and requested him to help out and started carving the statue. And by Baba's grace exactly the portion that was not required for the statue fell off and the only portion needed remained intact. After which Mr. Talim completed the statue and it was installed in the Samadhi Mandir on 7th of October in the year 1954, which was also Vijay Dashmi that year. I would like to thank each and everyone for listening to me so patiently. And if you want to know more on my channel, I request you to like, share and subscribe. And looking forward to seeing you all in the next video. Om Sai.